Welcome to Montana Matters. We're joined by Dr. Scott Manhart of Periodontal Specialists of Montana. It's so great to see you. Periodontal disease is better known as gum disease and 50% of Americans have this yet they may not realize it. Uh, Dr. Manhart and his team have been part of the Montana and Wyoming communities for the past over 20 years. Uh, they really focus on solving challenging dental issues so people can live healthier lives. Dr. Manhart, uh, talk to us about what are the top dental issues you address in your office? Well, as a specialty office, we primarily focus on the diagnosis and treatment of destructive periodontal diseases. We also work closely with the general dentist on the reconstruction of patients who have lost teeth and bone structure to these diseases. Okay. 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 And what exactly is periodontal disease? Um, how does someone know if they have it? Well, that's one of the biggest challenges. In the early to moderate stages, patients have very few symptoms. So self-identification of the problem is very difficult. Aside from occasional bleeding when brushing, uh, perhaps a persistent bad breath that doesn't seem to go away regardless of what a patient might try, uh, these, uh, the symptoms are very subtle and usually the, those stages have to be diagnosed in the dental setting, usually having a periodontal examination. Okay, very good. And what are some of the risk factors? Uh, the primary risk factors um, for periodontal disease are first of all being an adult over 35 years old, okay. but certainly smoking uh, definitely amplifies the disease and coexisting problems like diabetes, which we find quite frequently in our patients. Okay, and when would you say it's good to get a second opinion? Uh, if you're finding uh, persistent bleeding, uh, sensitivity to hot and cold uh, uh, upon uh, eating and drinking, uh, uh, persistent bad breath, things like this that don't seem to change, it's a good idea to get into a dentist or to our office and have, a, and have an examination to see if you are in fact having bone loss problems. Okay, and so we mentioned earlier that really 50% of Americans have this, yet they don't know about it. Um, do you re recommend coming in to get checked out? Certainly, okay. certainly. This is where a consistent relationship with a, with a dental practitioner is going to be essential. Okay, and maybe just explain the relationship between your client um, and between you and their general dentist because you do work very closely together. That's true. Okay. Typically, um, uh, most of our patients will come in on referral having been identified as uh, already having some bone and soft tissue loss. Uh, that's certainly not necessary. We certainly see patients uh, uh, who uh, call in without referral. Um, Inevitably, a, a general dentist will become involved in helping to reconstruct uh, uh, the patients after we have the disease treated. Okay, and then maybe for someone who's considering coming in for an exam, what is that process like? Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, uh, obviously, we'll have a complex medical history and dental history taken. Uh, we do a series of measurements uh, to assess the level of the bone and attachment. Uh, and then we sit down and really have a one-on-one -on -one explaining the disease and what the options are for treatment. Okay, very good. Well, for more information, you can go ahead and visit their website. You can give them a call. Their phone number is 406-655-7970. You can also stop by their location here in Billings. And we want to thank our viewers for supporting local business.